Move on in, move on up. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, Adam Levine at the Super Bowl. Adam Levine from Levine from Maroon Five, the ladies, the ladies' choice, right? He seems to be the kind of de facto guy that girls seem to kind of swoon over. I think, um, by and large, I think most women think he's very attractive man. But yeah, man, taking off your, your shirt to perform in the Super Bowl was a bit weird. He had a weird vest on anyway to begin with that everyone was taking a piss out of him about, right? You see the vest? I think the vest was like everyone was comparing it to uh, a pillow. Which was really funny, I thought, for the most part. Um, I think, yeah, I think this is the vest, right? Is it here? Yeah, I've got the vest here. So people were putting like, pictures of them, random pillows that kind of look like Adam Levine's vest, which was one thing. Uh, number two, he had a pretty cool choker, I thought, on that looked quite amazing. Um, you don't really see um, white artists wearing this because it's a trend now in, you know, in hip hop artists for the most part have these kind of like, you know, diamonded chokers on, which probably have made, did Louis Uzi Vert make them famous? I think, or maybe Louis Uzi, maybe Playboy Carti made them kind of more famous, like, similar to the kind of chain I have, but a little bit more, you know, closer to your neck. Um, really big Cuban links kind of choker wise that like taken, you know what I mean? Uh, shortened in length by the most part, you know, if you remember the kind of chains that Pharrell used to wear back in the day, they were really long, but for the most part, everyone's kind of wearing shorter chains. And yeah, the chain that he has on looks really cool. I got to be honest. And he is bodied up. And I think, number one, the tattoos are fucking stupid, right? I'd say, right? I'd say anyone that has a, a tattoo of California across their abdomen when they're from there is a bit weird. I never understood that. It's like the skeptic tattoo he's got in his back of his own name. It's just really strange to me. I know people do that, whatever. The tattoos look quite cool, like even though they're, they're a bit, you know, played out, you know, because you know what he's trying to go for. Um, he's bodied up, which is one thing, right? I think he's probably, he probably has the most achievable celebrity male body that girls like out there i think for the most part because you know guys are like weird when it comes to male bodies right um we're kind of always looking at i don't know the kind of the crossfit dude or the rock or somebody really kind of obscene that you're never gonna be able to achieve that kind of level of performance for the most part right but i think adam levine has kind of maybe the most achievable one because it's like you know it's like an average guy's body if you work out if you work out and you take care of yourself and you've got that kind of slim kind of figure in the first place you can kind of achieve it but i think bodies like the rock bodies like i don't know um john cena or those kind of dudes it's just a you know obviously you're gonna need roids and secondly it's just kind of too hard to kind of do day in day out for the most part it's like the bodies they had in 300 the movie right um, but I think Adam Levine's body is probably the most achievable for all the guys out there that want to do it. Because all you need to do this is, is kind of lay off the carbs, get on the cardio, do loads of strength training, a lot of body weight exercises. And you can probably look at that within six months. It's not that difficult to do. And I think this is the body that girls tend to like. You know when, girl, you know when boys, you know when girls say, oh, I'm not really into guys in muscles. You know, usually it's lies, right? It's all, they're chatting out their ass. But secondly... They don't really probably like the overly um, aggressively muscular guy because, you know, sometimes a girl that has... Because I know I've spoken to girls whose boyfriends are like professional footballers or boyfriends are involved in the fitness industry and they fucking hate it, right? Because for the most part, their boyfriends can't take them out to dinner because they're always on a diet. They can't go out because they don't drink because they have to watch their fucking macros. It's prob it's quite exhausting for a female to be, you know, with somebody whose profession is to look ridiculously good naked. It's really hard to do because, you know, you can't just do the things that, you know, girls like to do. Just hang out, have fun, do whatever. You know, what normal people would like to do, quote unquote. But this kind of body, you can do a couple of cheat days, right? And it's not going to affect you, right? You can kind of lay off the beer and only drink tequila or fucking whiskeys and you can kind of achieve the look he has. It's quite achievable. But I don't think, but again, I don't think it's as blocked bustery as some of the looks that people have and again i think maybe the tattoos kind of help his kind of overall look but it's kind of weird isn't it in general right that he's performing in a super bowl halftime show and all of a sudden his shirt's off why is his top off i kind of see it similar to the is it um to the guys that do crossfit and always have their top off it's just strange it's like oh i'm getting really sweaty like just wear a t-shirt or wear a vest why do you have to have your top off it's just strange i've never really I never really got it, but I think it's just like a style thing. Or maybe it's quote unquote it's a California thing, right? The guy with the backwards hat wearing the Oakleys topless, like doing fucking um, uh, uh, power power cleans and all that sort of malarkey. There's a particular kind of guy that does that sort of thing, running down the Hollywood Boulevard. But again, I'm not. I just don't understand it. I don't get why he's taking his top off. But again, not mad at it. I think if you've got that kind of body and you've got wearing the jewels that he's wearing and you've got the tattoos you're doing, then fuck it. Let's get the girl swooning. But. It was quite funny seeing him do it. Um, yeah, I think he had a pink guitar on as well. I think he was performing with a pink guitar with that weird vest on. And there was a bit where he kind of took his top off. He kind of smiled at the crowd and said, yeah, I'm going to get your panties wet. And just took off his top like absolute bad man. And it's, I think there's something about guys who know they're sexy, right? And do that, which guys kind of get turned off of. I don't know what it is about us guys 
when we when there's a boy in your crew who obviously knows he's sexy and plays up to it, we kind of it kind of rubs it up the wrong way. I'm not sure why. You kind of have to play it down, even though when you know, even though you know you're the fucking prize in a group, you kind of have to kind of act a bit humble about it. Whereas I think with girls, for the most part, when they have a sexy friend, they always have you know they fucking love it. They're taking pictures of them. They're showing them off and shit. They're usually um, they're fucking um, de facto bodyguard. Any guy that tries to talk to them, the fucking ugly friend steps up and is like, no, you cannot pass, right? Always fucking, no, they have to go home together. They're always making sure they're staying at their house so they have to go home together so the guy, the girl can't bring home a guy. It's very strange, but in a boys group, it's not the same dynamic. Eh? You can't be the sexy dude in your group. You can be sexy, but you can't wear it like, you know, like a fucking, like a medal. You have to kind of be a bit humble about it. And you're like, oh, you know, you know I'm, I'm sexy, but I'm not that sexy. I mean, you kind of have to like talk about it in whispery tones. But think about yourself. How many groups of girls have you seen with a really smoke show in a group? And, you know, the other girls just kind of, you know, just look at her all doughy eyed and everything she says is right. They'll giggle her jokes. They'll take a million pictures of her in the toilet and shit. It's fucking weird. But again, Adam Levine, big up yourself with your choker on and your tattoo of the location of where you're born. Bit weird, but hey, I understand, man. You got to do what you got to do to get the ladies on side, innit? Even though it's a Super Bowl, I'm not sure how many ladies were actually watching, but you know, hey, what do I know?